Hi everyone, Sidori9 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock. As we explore this cave. <laughs> Come on out, Houdini Splicer. I've got something shocking to show you. Ah! See? <laughs> uh, that that really worked out. <laughs> More of the weird uh, symbols. Looks like that's all in here. As you can see, Electro Bolt and swinging with the wrench still works extremely well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that really, it really doesn't change. It changes way later, but... Already looted the Rosie. Look that Splicer. Full on Eve. Okay. Nothing, nothing. That's right. Pistol. We could use the pistol rounds. And we'll walk really slow because I'm also checking the recording, making sure things are going right so far. Looks good. Tree farm. A machine gun round. Now I'm a woman of science, but I'm also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said if I could boost profits in Arcadia, part of the app would ride on my hip. So I get to thinking we're paying for oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan will like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz tooth and claw. There you go. Producing extra oxygen and then selling it. I would like to have the security bot. Please don't dead in there. Thank you. That makes things simpler. Down. Yeah, I figured we'd have to go this way. It's fine. Like so. Yeah, reactivate. Come along. Let's just grab this shotgun. Alright, a lot of mats. We'd like to see that so we can make more stuff. Huh. Kinda sounds like a fly or something. Anyway. See? Like it's buzzing. It's rotten anyway. Money. More money. Oh, a lot of money. Alright. Now if we could just find a first aid station, then we'd be good. Alright! <laughs> so close. Yeah, TK. Grab it. There we go, full health. He is a poison! Kill him! The poison! 
I am not poisoned. I have no idea what you're talking about. Complete. The one on the back. Oh, they're all thuggish. Okay. That's the wrong weapon. That's also the wrong weapon. Get it, robot! Good robot. What much health do you have left, robot? I don't even know if you got hit. What do we have here? Security evasion. Has a rival faction set up security cameras and turrets where you need to go? Security evasion adjusts the thermal signature of your epidemic layer, confusing cameras and turrets and delaying their response. Security cameras and turrets take longer to see you. If you've been having a lot of problems with said security cameras and turrets, this is a really good tonic for you. Uh, I'm gonna stick with Sport Boost and Eve Link. But this is why you'll be buying a lot of physical tonics. They have a lot of good things, as well as the combat tonics. Especially the combat tonics. But the physical tonics have a lot of good things like this. Like the Eve Link. Like Sport Boost. Security Evasion can be helpful. I'm gonna just grab that and store it. Oh, we're back in this room. Well, the turrets are already ours, thankfully. So, and we kind of already cleared this place out. Forgot about this. I'm gonna move this. Just, just in case, I'm liable to be running around and then go and run into it. Grab that first aid kit. Now, I'm willing to bet as soon as we grab one of these rose things, all hell is going to break loose. But that's okay, because we have a few tricks up our sleeve. We're going to telekinesis the red barrel. We're also going to electrobolt the water if they decide to come get us. Plus, we also have our two... Our uh, flying security bot and our two machine gun turrets to help us. Grab! Doja! I hit the robot! How did I know that was going to happen? <laughs> it's like I knew the robot would fly in front of me right when I want to throw it. Okay, so we still have one security turret left, and we still do have the lightning bolt in the water trick. Oh yes, we also have the camera. How could I forget the camera? Could have gone better, but it could have gone worse, so can't complain too much. Pistol rounds. Battery and money. How are we look on pistol rounds? Okay. More importantly, how are we looking on shotgun rounds? Good. And we still have the electric buckshot as well. Can't forget about that. Although I probably will. that Eve hypo there, which is good. I 
Alright, let's take this back to, uh... To Langford. You brought the Rosa Gallica? Oh, what are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Actually, Send yes. The new Fine. It's in the rose. Yes. This is perfect. Perfect. Come on up to my office. I'm letting you in now. I think I've got just the thing to put the green back in this forest. Alright. Lab access seal. Cigarettes. Hacking expert. The original HackSmart Gene Tonic, Hacking Expert diffuses alarms and helps avoid overloads. It's the must-have plasmid of the HackSmart line. One fewer alarm tile and one fewer overload tile when hacking. So it's like Focused Hacker, except it's one and one, instead of just two overload tiles. Um, take your pick. They both kind of do the same thing, it's just different tiles. At the end of the day, you're getting two fewer bad tiles and two more good tiles. That's how I look at it. But as always, tonics like these, and even if they're the same tonic, like Sport Boost, Sport Boost 2, tonics stack. So if you have another empty empty slot, you could put this on as well. Place those pagans won't steal? Paper towels, ink pots, witch hazel, chlorophyll solution, even my back issues of National Geographic. They're feathering their disgusting little shrines with it, I suppose. Sick bastards. Now, I'm a woman of science, but I'm also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said so if I could boost the profits Come in Arcadia, part of the up would ride on There's my hip. There's two different conversations so going on. Thinking, Security lockdown. Oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other okay, guys. let's do this Ryan instead. Who says you can't teach an old how new tricks? This batty plant woman spends four years coming up with ways to defoliate trees in the Pacific to scare out the Japs. And now, here I am, down at the bottom of the Atlantic, trying to figure out how to do the same thing in reverse. Adam, Adam, Adam. It's bathtub gin times the atom bomb times Eve with a serpent. Let's go see what it can do. We're gonna hack this, uh, hell station. And make use of it because we have money and it is cheaper than a uh, it's cheaper than a med kit. Like so hooray. Here's a vending machine. Whoa! Now we'll just auto hack that. <laughs> Welcome to the of value. Pistol rounds, armor piercing pistol rounds, buckshot, proximity mine, coffee, you can get a little bit of eat back, a pet bar, you can get a little bit of health and eve back, and eve hypos as well. Electric gel. We'll also uh, hack this U invent machine. We still have three auto hack left. Hello. No, I need this. Oh, darn it. I need to switch that now so we can go up and across. Ow. Once more. With feeling. <laughs> no, you didn't block it this time. See, it does change. Okay, so we took some damage. That's all right. Uh, as you can see, we got a lot of rubber hose, batteries, 
I am going to make a fourth auto hack tool. We'll do that. And we'll save the rest for now. Uh, gene bank. Armor piercing pistol rounds. Nice. Napalm. A uh, wrench. If you didn't have a wrench already, which you should. I <laughs> should have kept that there. Hey, Doc. Julie, we made a business deal, you and I, did we not? Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. Ownership of civilization. Wait! No! Please! Without it, we're back in the swamp. Mr. Ryan! <laughs> That's messed up, Ryan. <laughs> Nine, four, five, seven. Before I forget that, because again, I'm liable to forget. Okay. Every time we get a yard ahead, Ryan goes and moves the goal line down to the other side of the field. That's basically what he's doing, yeah. <laughs> It's a great analogy. The Lazarus Vector. I've been killing trees for 25 years. At Berkeley back in the 20s. On the Japs at Iwo Jima. But I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. Everybody's always looking for the Lazarus Vector. I mean, there's that, there's, uh... His name just left me. Is it that, uh, Raja Ghoul's thing as well? Anyway, there's the chemical thrower. First thing we're going to do, we're going to hack this new invent machine. Hopefully with more luck than last time. <laughs> and... Like so. Same things. Let's see. Of course we want this. We definitely want this. But I'm kind of looking around first before we grab the chemical thrower. Alright. Here we go. This is the chemical thrower. Use electric gel chemical thrower ammo against targets against uh, targets vulnerable to electricity. You have three different types of ammo. As you already know, we have napalm, which is the base ammo. You have liquid nitrogen, which will freeze targets. Now be wary when you're using this, because it's the same thing as I explained with Winter Blast. If you shatter the corpses, you get no loot. So, there's liquid nitrogen, and... There's electric gel, which we don't have a lot of, but it's extremely, extremely useful. Because you get that electrical effect, you get the stun, and... We will be using electric gel. It's uh, it's very useful, especially against one type of enemy. But since we have napalm, and most of napalm, and it's the base solution, we're going to use it. I'm going to show it off. Of course, napalm sets things on fire. Well, safe. Now she gave us the code. Nine, four... Five, seven. Yes, you can't even hack the safe. You have to uh, get the code. But she gave it to us. Lazarus Rector formula. Market key. Twenty-seven dollars. What's the point of 
point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons. Exactly. I've cracked the vector. Or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. We have a multi-part goal. Press back to go to the goal tab to see all parts of the goal and switch which one is active. The arrow and map will guide you to your active goal. goal. Now, as she said, we need several things to complete this formula. Invent the Lazarus Vector. Langford discovered a way to use genetic engineering to revive dead plants. Her so-called Lazarus Vector should be able to reverse the effects of Ryan's herbicide. You'll need 7 units of distilled water, chlorophyll solution, and enzyme samples. Once acquired, bring all the ingredients to a U-Invent machine to make the Lazarus, uh, the Lazarus Vector. As you can see here. And yes, you can actually lower the cost on it as well, which is kind of funny when you have it hacked. So we need six units of distilled water, six uh, chlorophyll solution, and six enzyme samples. Uh, how do I... There we go. Uh, we need seven units of distilled water. Explore Arcadia and the farmer's market to t obtain enough to create the vector. Okay. You're first. Ah, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> Please continue to burn. I don't remember there being a camera here. I would have hacked it. You. I'm so talented that. Time is slowed down to the point of where I can't be shot while I'm hacking things. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, over this way, and yeah. There we go, work for me. Huh. That's not ours either, but it will be. There's a big daddy here as well. But we already saved the little sisters, or this would be a pretty good spot to, uh... To rescue them at. So we have all of the stuff already. <laughs> I can really hear the flames. Sorry about that. It's just because of when it got uh, when it got stopped. But there we go. Because I was right on top of the flames. Hi. I don't think it would last long enough. But I haven't shown it off. And I do have a lot of Eve. Again, you'll want to do this when you have little Eve. A little amount. Where did it, where did it go? Where did the Rosie go? Am I just seeing things? No! Bad! Grab that. There's chlorophyll solution. I'll use a first aid kit. Buy it back. Reload. Whew. Grab the uh, machine gun rounds as well. Hmm. Maybe I was just imagining things, or it just went someplace that I didn't see. Either way. Oh, there it is. Hack. Ah, this one will be tricky, but. We'll give it a go. Come on. 
I had one in my inventory. Really bad about that. Good, it didn't block us off that well. Go. Hi. Okay, I think that's the way out. Because I've not shown it off yet, hypnotize Big Daddy. Come on. As you can see, it uses all of your E. Every time. Go to the farmer's market, which we will do. Of course there's no enemies. Now as you can see, his faceplate is green. That's how you know he's friendly toward you. How dare you shoot me! Yay, Big Daddy wins. As you can see, if something shoots you, or you shoot it, uh, the Big Daddy will bake your little sister and go about greasing it. Huh? See, Big Daddy doesn't like the little sister to be hurt. We know this already. If only it was permanent. It would be really awesome. But as you can see, it does last a good while. Is it starting to blink? Yeah, when it starts to blink like that, it's about to run out. Sadly. So we'll make use of it while we can. Oh, it ran out. So there you go. If you, uh, you have the option of looking at the time, uh, you can see exactly how long it lasts, because I forget the exact amount. Also, there is a power to the people machine here. Please don't miss it. <laughs> this is the second one. I don't think I've missed one yet. I'm sure that'll change. Power to the people. Pistol clip size. Uh, we already seen, uh, we already seen some of these. The shotgun rate of fire is so tempting. For the chemical thrower, since we now have it. Chemical thrower consumption rate. A tapered nozzle reduces the ammunition consumption rate of the chemical thrower. Very nice. If you like the chemical thrower, you like the electric gel, or you like the napalm. Uh, the napalm is pretty cool. It sets the enemies on fire, and then you can go about continuously setting them on fire, or finish them off with another weapon. This will make it to where it doesn't drain as fast when you hold down the button. Or just when you use it in general. Uh, very nice. And the range. A pressure uh, pressure calibrated hose increases the range of the chemical thrower. The chemical thrower doesn't have great range. But with this, it's, it's even better. A lot of good choices. Again, choose the weapon that you like to use. The chemical thrower upgrades are not a bad idea. Uh, the first time I played this game, I did not use the chemical thrower enough. And that was kind of on me. What I did do, I did make the pistol as good as I possibly could for a long period of time. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I will say that the pistol looks really cool after you upgrade it. But uh, like I said, even after you get all the upgrades later in the game, it just still doesn't have enough punch. It doesn't have the punch you need. This is very tempting because the machine gun... With the damage upgrade, you can go for a while with it, and you do typically get a lot of machine gun bullets. I would like the shotgun rate of fire, and I'm sure I'll get it eventually. Make the grenade launcher do even more damage. Could have used this earlier. <laughs> a few episodes ago, could have used this. Um... So many choices. I'm going to take the machine gun damage increase. The 
There we go. Doesn't that look awesome? I love the way the uh, guns upgrade and how they look after after they're uh, they're tuned up. With this, the machine gun will do even more damage, making it very deadly, especially if you use the proper rounds, such as anti-personnel rounds or uh, armor-piercing rounds. Even without that, just using the base rounds, you'll see a pretty big damage increase per bullet, and because you have a lot of bullets, it's very nice. Observe, that was a Houdini splicer, which has typically taken us a lot more to kill. Ow! Thought I was far enough away from that. Use the first aid kit. A very nice upgrade, and like I said, you typically get quite a bit of ammunition for it, and when you buy ammo for it, for the uh, machine gun, remember, you get 40 when you buy ammo for it from like a, vent from, like, a vending machine. Uh, okay. Down we go. And we'll go across to the left. Up. Up here? Yes. Like so. What do we have? Armor piercing pistol rounds. The only problem with the chemical thrower is ammo's expensive, but you get a lot of it. 100 rounds of liquid nitrogen is 75, 100 rounds of napalm is 57. Expensive, but you get a lot. This is where the ammo consumption really comes into play, because then you can use more and not have to buy as much ammo. Uh, I think we're okay on Eve. Definitely need more film. And... Yeah, I'll buy some napalm. Like I said, when I first played this game, I didn't use the chemical thrower enough. I think it's a really good weapon. I just kind of stuck with the pistol, stuck with the shotgun. I really didn't uh, explore what I thought of as kind of weird weapons in my my uh, younger days. Let's see. Just so you all know how old I am, seven years. I was twenty. I was twenty-one when the, when this when this game came out. And in gaming, in gaming terms, seven years is a long time when you think about it. I've changed a lot as a gamer. Pet bar. I really try different things, especially since I've started LPing. I try a lot of different things. I uh, use things differently. Use weapons differently. I try to show off different things. So that that's really that's really changed. Oh, that's not good. Ow! That was terrible. Should have made sure that way was clear. Nope. So. But I really do try, try a lot of different things. And I can see the uh, value in the, in the chemical thrower. Hey, first aid kits! Perfect! Take the first aid kit. There we go, alright. Let's end this episode on full health and, and uh, eat. That's nice. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a lot of fun. Like I said, I'll be trying to use the uh, chemical thrower so you can see it. I think it's a good weapon, especially the electric gel. The electric gel has uh, quite a few uses. But until the next episode, I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.